Howdy howdy everybody, my name is Taffy Lemon, and welcome back to another episode of Undertale. Alright, last time we arrived in Snowden Town. And we also spent like 15 minutes on a ball game. So that's what's in my box. Um, so, uh, let's get into it. I also once again have my water bottle, because voices. Yay! And remember, hydrate. Seriously. Put the monster down. Hydrate. <laughs> Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Care to chat? Hiya! Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where do you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grubbies has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold instead of Camp and Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Hmm. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our deep. As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Yep, yep it is. Hmm. I think I already have that. I will take this though. And my inventory is now full. Bye now, come again sometime. why I'm keeping this stuff. It's, um, because Temi Village, it actually gives a sizable amount. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? <laughs> That's cute. Welcome to Snowden. It's Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. Mm, I'll be back. Well, feel free to come back at any time. Yeah, but that's what I just said. Okay. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Is it a rabbit? Walking another rabbit. Child, ma'am? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Dun dun, they're so adorable. Tee <laughs> I am so confused. Can I talk to the. Oh, you can talk to the thing! What are you, a Pokemon? Anyway. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locos. Locos? Locals. Pronunciation? What is that? Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Best of friends. This town doesn't have a mirror. But if there's ever a problem, the skeleton will tell officially about it. That's politics. Okay. Hey everyone, 
Helen is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. <laughs> we all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Fair enough. Well, ain't it just a party in here? You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Okay. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach your leech to me and take me for a walk, please. I imagine this guy sounds like he chain smokes like 86 packs of cigarettes every single day. Sir? Okay. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> oh no! I uh, put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. The jukebox is broken. Damn it. The capital is getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. I accidentally pressed control and set the arrow keys. Hello. Grove said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? Those things, like, spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Okay. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot guys! <sighs> Mood. Except replace guys with girls, because I'm sad. Anyway. Let's play Monsters and Humans. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, uh, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Okay, are these like piles of slime or rocks? Ah, uh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, uh, my patience rewards me. Sir, why? What does that do? What happens if I go up further? Oh, this is where the river person exists. Okay. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. Is it? Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's amazing how much you forget about this game and then how much you get to, like, re-experience and it still hits just as well as the first time. Have a look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Yes. Probably because I am not good at trivia. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Good for you, man. It's a school report about monster funerals. 
Lots of funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. <laughs> when monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> Every child ever. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Aww. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Things we've got incredibly meta. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If the monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, well, let's end this chapter here. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Why is that question mark? Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of, but the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. You asshole. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. Oh! <laughs> from the inside what okay all right i'm gonna go sleep at the inn to get more hp before this because i know what's coming up and that's exciting welcome to the snowed inn snowden's premier hotel one night is 80 gold here's your room key make sure to bundle up like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Okay. <laughs> Bet. Alright. Let's go do the thing. I'm very confused by what this is. Like, the stuff on the screen. <laughs> That was very descriptive. Like, is it supposed to be ice? Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. Yes. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, 
prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Why are these the only two options? You got two sides of the spectrum. <laughs> Attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, Nyeh heh. Nyeh heh Sir, is. Is that really it? Papyrus is considering his options. Oh, okay. So you won't fight, then. Let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Okay, so it's coming from that side. You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now. I sure am. like I used to. Undyne will be really proud of me. She will not be impressed with me, though. Papyrus is cackling. He's just like me for real. That's just how I laugh. The king will grim ahead in the shape of my smile. I am really bad at doing the papyrus voice. Like, I seriously can't. Beaver hands. After you're captured and sent away. Ah! Uh, who cares? 
cares? Give up. Give up or face my special attack. Defeat me? Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now it's your chance to accept my mercy. You bet. No! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. You can be a real dick in this game if you want to. I'm not, though, so let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well, then, I guess. I guess I can make an alliance for you. Wow! I have friends! And who knew that all I needed to make them was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire our human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is. Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, then please go home. He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and hang out. <laughs> Did he just... Sir. Did you just... Did 
Can we just go through the trees and over the what? Or is that supposed to be an exaggerated jump? Either way. All right, let's go hang out with our new friend. So you came back to see me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Okay. Oh, looping back around. My house! It's fucking golden. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. That is absolutely fantastic. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. I was allowed to take that, right? Okay. It's a joke book. Take a look inside? Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> my legs. That must mean I'm being a great host. I think it says the same thing. But... My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! making a pie by any chance. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. I absolutely will. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Who the hell puts chips? in their fridge. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Always with the dog. What? Tech shot meddling canine! Curses. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. It's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MT2. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's okay, dude. I, I know what it's like to have weird niche interests. And then people make fun of me for it. By people, I mean mostly my sister. <laughs> a classic enigma. It always reminds me of what's important in life. That's my room. If you finish looking around, you could go in and hang out like a pair of very cool friends. Absolutely. Hey, those are all the attacks I use on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Like five minutes ago. That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long hall highway. Not hallway. Highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin, both things you don't have. Of course, that's just a dream. 
So instead I cruise, why snooze? Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right, Santa. Is that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> they also have them. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. You are so goofy. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. The internet! I'm quite popular there. Indeed you are. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. That means you have negative two followers. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Sir, I think that I think that troll might have been your brother. It appears your internet browser is open to a social media site. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Absolutely. Okay, let's hang then. Ten. Here we are, hanging out. I've actually never done this, but don't worry. You can't spell prepare without several letters from my name. I snagged an official hangout guidebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key. Friendship HUD. That sounds like something in an anime. Wowee! I feel so informed! Egg. Egg. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them to hang out. <clears throat> Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will hang out with you. Yes. Really? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to hang out with me from the very beginning? Yes. I think you're cool. No! You planned it all. You're way better at hanging out than I am. No! Your friendship power! Power of friendship, baby! Nah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at hand, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can do it. In fact, I always wear my special clothes under my hood. Just in case someone wants to hang out. Behold! Secret style. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This hangout won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. There's no secret to my legs. There's hard work and perseverance. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must just say. I see, I see. I like pressing my steps with a floating arm. <laughs> what the fuck is this dialogue? This is actually beautiful. I love, I love the fucking dialogue in this game. It's the wonderful Elder Joe Slam. 
but who doesn't? My hat. Oh man, I forgot to check his shirt. Big sad. My hat. My hat. <laughs> you found my secret. I suppose I have to. It's a present. A present just for you. <laughs> There's spaghetti on his head now. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's wear. Silk and spaghetti. Finally the loose cats. And cooked by me. That's what with papyrus. It's time to end this. There is no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflects the fleece scratches off. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. The bar is just continuously expanding. Human, it's clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. Am I though? Am I though? Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. Hmm. Well, I'm flattered you care so much. But maybe cool up a little bit? You are a very nice person. I'm glad we're friends, but I think you can reach your max potential if you live more for your own sake rather than just for mine. Hmm. Hey, I know the solution. We should hang out with my boss, I'm dying. I think if you spread your friend energy out more, you'll have a more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with fun time. <laughs> sounds like a wonderful idea. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, Here's my phone number. You can call me at any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> of course you do. Fun times. This sink is so tall, you can't even wash your hands. Hey, wait a minute. How did he do that? Anyway. Alright. All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. I know. Never stress a flower. That's one of the concerns of this uh, one of the deposits of this world. That's cool. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> Hi, Sans. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Unfortunately, two jobs come twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grubby's. Want to come? Absolutely. Well, if you insist, I'll cut myself away from my work. Bro. Over here, I know a shortcut. Best shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Sans. Hey, Sans. Reading, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans, were you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of right. Here, get comfy. Oops. Walk through sit down. Sometimes we like to put whoopee cushions on seats. Anyway, let's go. What do you want? I am way too hungry to record this, I swear. My mouth is watering. Oh my god. I'll be right back. I'm getting food. Alright, I'm back. What food did I have, you may ask? A singular Hershey kiss. Alright, time to decide. 
Hey Siri, flip a coin. It's tails. Burger it is. Okay, that sounds pretty good. We'll, be, we'll have a double order of burg. Burg? Are you calling your skull? So, what do you think of my brother? Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he walks with it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the girl. Want some ketchup? More for me. Did you just drink that? Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, um, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Oh. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. You say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, the flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you flip the bill? I'm just kidding. Girl, you put it on my dad. Thank God you were kidding, I'm poor. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Fair enough. I only have uh, 125 gold to my name. I'm kind of poor. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Let's hang out again sometime. Alright guys, well, that is going to be where I leave off this episode. I'm sorry, I just noticed this guy's, like, dead-eye stare. There is not a thought behind those eyes. Anyway. That is going to be where I'm ending the episode today. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below what you thought of the video. Um, if you're new, please subscribe for more content like this. I am going to fix my upload schedule eventually. I just don't know when that will be. Um, and, uh, yeah. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And, uh...